My name's Tom Lumsden from Holt Contractors here in Palmerston North. We're on our couch tree, we've got a little a quarry site out there, halfway between Ashurst and Palmy. I've been in the quarry industry for close to 10 odd years now. Most of, mostly been in mobile, mobile crushing, contract crushing. So this is one of the first sites that I've been on full time on site, which is just quite good. Coming from the mobile side of things, we had we had keys track gear before I come here. So I think there was a lot of the push. With the keys track, we've run the K3, we've run the K4, We've had the R3 and the R5 impactor, as well as the H4E. And we've done a little bit of crushing with a B4 jaw crusher too, so a bit of everything. I'm a big fan of the impactors, mainly because that's, that's probably what I've used the most of. Just a one pass machine and you throw pretty much everything at it and it, and it smashes it up into whatever you want. So they're pretty versatile. I think the keys track's just a, a, a pretty good all rounder, like it, do, it does everything you want it to do. What really sets them apart is probably equipped too, not so much the actual gear itself, their service and their backup is, is something you can rely on. One thing I do really like about the keys tracks is they're really easy to use and they're really easy to train people on. So a couple of hours and you can you can get them sorted on it. Everything's pretty automated. There's no sequence of levers that you've got to try and remember how everything works. It's all sort of push a button and, and everything does it itself. So from that point of view, it's it's really good, really easy. With a backup service you get from Equip 2, it's just, it's just a, they're always just a phone call away and they answer the phone, they know exactly who you are, they know where you, you know, they know your operation. Um, if you want anything, it's generally there the next, the next day, so um, that's pretty awesome. The technical support too, you can ring Jeff from Equip 2 there and he'll, he'll be able to talk your ear off about pretty much any problem you've got, which is, which is good. You don't always need to get them to come out. He can talk you through a problem, so. Um, that's awesome, they're just always there, you know they're on the other end of the phone whenever you need them. Probably a year or two ago we had a bit of an issue with the R3, just crushing stuff that was quite small, we were making top course and we weren't getting the sort of numbers that we expected out of it, so one quick call to Jeff, I, I cut to, and he talked us through a few different settings and just speeding the rotor speed up and, and setting setting a few things up differently and it, it made quite a bit of difference, so we were probably getting somewhere between 70 or 80 tonne an hour and then after a quick half an hour phone call, we managed to push that to sort of 120, 130, which is more where we were expecting to sit. So that was massive. So with the R3 here, we, we, do, we do all of our roading material with R3. We started doing a bit of crush dust with it as well. It chews through it pretty good. We can do top course making AP20. We'll sit around maybe 130-ish tonne an hour in a good day. And then obviously um, as we go up, it gets quicker. So we can do AP40 at close to 200, 220 on a good day. And if all the conditions are right and the metal's perfect, we get pretty close to 300 tonne an hour with 65. So yeah, it's taken a lot of downtime out of it. We can we can smash up rocks pretty quick now and have a big stockpile sitting there ready for ready for jobs. With the keys track, they are pretty consistent. We don't have any major, major downtime, I wouldn't think. Um, it's, it's just the basic maintenance jobs, the you know, the changing plates and changing blow bars and bits and pieces. There's no we haven't had any real massive issues with it as as far as stopping us goes. So yeah, we're able to just keep them going consistently and and they keep performing. We've had the keys track machines here for about four years. I think we bought we bought them together at the same time they were here when I got here, but the uh, K4s just clicked over 6,000 hours and we've just done 4,000 hours service on the, on the R3, so they're going pretty good. If you guys are in the market for a new crusher or new new gear, like I think the crushers out there are sort of much and much now. Everyone's got something that the other one doesn't do or anything but like I said earlier the the service and the backup that you get from Equip 2 I find you won't get with a lot of other guys I mean anyone can sell you a machine but not everyone can back it up so that's where that's where those guys really come in. 